I'm Kyle from Coates. Welcome to the Coates Tough to Change series. There's a lot of low profile, non-compliant, tough to change tires out there these days. Today, we're gonna to be working on this Load Range G 19.5. 19.5s are particularly hard to change because of the shape of the wheel, the sheer weight of the assembly, how thick the bead is, and the fact that it's a very non-compliant sidewall. But using the correct technique, along with the correct accessories, we can make changing 19.5 tires a breeze. Let's get started. Before you change any tire, it's a good idea to do a quick inspection of the tire and wheel assembly itself. We're looking for any damage or any abnormalities on the wheel or the tire itself. We also want to make sure that we've removed our valve core. There's no obstructions in the valve core and all of the air pressure has left the tire. Once we've done that, now we're ready to use our side mounted bead loosener to loosen the bead on this 19.5. It's best to go slow and take several small bites. Once we've loosened our bead, now it's time to place the tire and wheel on the tire machine. Using a wheel lift for a heavy tire and wheel assembly like this makes things much easier and much safer. Now that we have the wheel and tire on top of the machine, it's important to always remember to clamp 19.5 wheels from the outside in, never from the inside out. You can use the Gripmax 2 jaws to accomplish this, or even the traditional steel jaws. In order to get the jaws past the tire, I like to push on the wheel just a little bit with our robo arm while, while we clamp. Once we've got the wheel properly clamped on the machine, I like to use the robo roller to push down on the sidewall of the tire to give plenty of room to adjust our duck head. Using the Robo Roller is a great way to lube the top bead on any tough tire. Leaving my Robo Roller in place gives me plenty of room to insert my tire tool. Once I have my tire tool properly placed underneath the duck head, next I like to use my Robo Arm and push down on the side wall of the tire. That will allow the tire to pull itself into the drop center when I pull the bead of the tire over the duck bill. You can see this tire is fully pulled in, into the drop center and now we're ready to dismount our top bead. I always back the tire up just a few degrees to unfurl the bead on top of the duck head. Once I've done that, I rotate clockwise and simply dismount the top bead. Next to dismount the bottom bead, things can be a little bit tricky as a 19.5 tire is incredibly heavy. If the tire is too heavy for you to hold into the drop center, simply use the hook on your robo arm to lift up on the tire and pull it into the drop center. We'll grab the bottom bead of the tire using our tire tool. And we're gonna to need to have a lot of lift in order to get this bottom bead up over the duck head. Once we've got that established, now we can go ahead and rotate clockwise. and off comes the bottom bead. Now let's mount our new tire on this wheel. When mounting a 19.5, using a good quality paste lube is paramount. Always lube the outside of the bead, like this, as well as the inside of both beads. This will ensure 
that when you're mounting this tire, you won't damage it. Once you have the wheel clean, a little bit of lube on the drop center of a 19.5 wheel will make it much easier to mount the top bead. To mount the bottom bead, simply make sure that this thick beaded 19.5 is over the duck's tail and under its head. Now to mount the top bead, we have to be sure to use our robo roller and our robo arm. Our robo roller is gonna stop the tire from climbing over the head. The robo arm is gonna stop the bead of the tire from coming out of the drop center during the mounting phase of the top bead. I like to set the robo roller first, just enough to hold the tire up over the duck's tail. Then I push down with the robo arm only enough to hold the tire in into the drop center. And when our tire and wheel get to about this point where the robo arm is at the 10 o'clock, I like to relieve the pressure on the robo arm and then lift up the robo roller while I mount the rest of this tire. Now that we have our load range G 19.5 mounted properly. Next, it's time to seat the beads and inflate this tire. The first thing we need to do is get our duck head out of the way and make sure that we've unclamped the wheel from, from the tire machine. Next, we're gonna use the inflation on the tire machine to seat the bead only. The remainder of the inflation process must take place in a proper restraining device. And that's mounting a Load Range G19.5 on the Coats Max.